The Port of Seattle has publicly and proudly stated its commitment to become carbon neutral. Not an easy task for an international hub, home to big ships, big jets, trains, trucks, and busy terminals. It'll require some creative thinking and innovation, and there's a perfect example of that taking place right over there at Smith Cove. Most of us are pretty familiar with the idea of green plants breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out clean oxygen. A healthy forest can sequester tons of carbon every year in stems, leaves, and branches, something referred to as green carbon. But the marine environment can do the same thing. There, it's referred to as blue carbon. At Smith Cove, port staff helped to not only add more vegetation around the shoreline, they added shellfish, one of nature's greatest filters. A single adult oyster can clean and filter up to 50 gallons of water a day. Then they added eelgrass. Did you know that seagrass covers less than two-tenths of one percent of the ocean floor, but stores almost 10 percent of the carbon buried in the oceans each year? And don't forget the kelp. That stuff is amazing. One kelp plant can grow over 50 feet in a single year, capturing a whole lot of carbon every step of the way. And even better, all those pieces work together to create a healthy ecosystem. The eel grass and kelp provide the perfect shelter for small fish, which attract bigger fish and support other things that are a whole lot bigger than fish. Or look at this another way. Doing a lot of the proper little things helps to support other things and can make a big difference to them, those, and us. 